<laughs> no! 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 Oh, hello everyone. Um, welcome to last stream. Um, if you saw the live stream yesterday, you would know that we were having ma major technical difficulties. And this video is being made because I want to give a proper introduction of every single one of these voices that I play. I want to show them all to you properly without technical difficulties or internet connection and all that stuff. So, we have a lot to get going on, so let's just automatically get started. Well, I'll start with one of our less mate. he's not really big. Not major, but inside this bicycle helmet is my Officer John outfit. It's small, I know what it is, but it's 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 funny because it's simple enough to put on. So if you he is so far have been in two episode appearances, um, Good Day to Be a Cop and. I was attacked by a unicorn, which was just recently made not that long ago. So, if you haven't seen those two, go ahead and check them out. They're really funny. So, um, let's get this on. I can already see myself getting into character. Officer Jan, reporting for duty. It's not really that much of a thing to put on, but um, Officer Jan likes to be in more appearances. Cause if you got anything in your house, please call me on a different frequency. <laughs> you may be wondering what this actually is supposed to be. It's it's not a phone at all. It's just. A multi screw thing. I have no idea what it is, but it has a bunch of screw heads in it, and it's also a non workable light with a metal hammer on it. So, this is his frequency. There's a bunch of different frequencies. Okay, and it all fits nicely in this little tiny bicycle helmet, which I can just shut off to the side. And boom, that's, that's that. It's as simple as that. Um, I don't remember how he came to be, but I was thinking of something funny for Fred's French fries, and it was a good day to be a cop thing, and I just came up with the voice and the character and the personality. And, um, yeah, I've been to be a great addition. I, I'm glad I actually found all this stuff just sitting in my room. It's not collecting dust anymore. Athesy Jam, Plenty Okay, so next character, he's a bigger one. He's chunky, he's fat. It's Brother Bob. There's no explanation needed. Once you see the hat and you see the orange glasses, you know who he is automatically. I'm not even going to begin to say the, what he's in because he's in a lot of stuff. He's a big character and somewhat of a narcissist. So, this is his gut. Nothing special. It's just this pillow. It, it's nothing more. Take it. And I stuff it up my shirt. And then, of course, I put the glasses on, and then I put the hat on. I'm not gonna put the gut in right now, because of the fact that most of the time I don't put it in properly. So if you see me, my gut always looks different, because it's always being put in different. So, if you're wondering why I'm always, my gut's always in different places, because of the fact that this is very hard to put in to a sweatshirt or an actual shirt. His first, Brother Bob's first appearance was, um, Brother Bob, How to Survive a Mugging, 
Um, that was really fun. That was really funny. And he came about trying to think of a, like, more of an elderly figure. Someone who's, um, because I've always, if you've seen the paranormal investigation, I've always wanted to make a parody of something like, um, Ghost Watch, or something like one of those, um, ghost chasing channels. And I thought, why not make, like, a fat old man to see, because it'd be funny. But then he turned out, um, he turned out worse over the time. He, not the fact that he was a bad character, it's just the fact that he got mean. <laughs> He got very, very, very mean over time, and these glasses were once made out of cardboard. No, these aren't cardboard, but my original glasses were. Um, these glasses were used for Rudy Big Eye. He was only in one episode, so that's why he's not in this. He's not going to be in this showcase. You'll only hear his name. That's as simple as the costume. Put away. Come on, Todd! Right there. My dog's being weird. So, oh, and that's another thing, too. Um, a lot of our videos contain sounds that my dog is doing. She's either walking around or drinking water. Most of the time, she's either playing. She's doing a lot of stuff. Um, so, if you hear any of that, just understand. It's very hard to keep a dog still. So. <clears throat> now, let's get into Todd. And Todd's dad! Hello everyone! I'm Todd! And this is my dad! Yes, I'm your dad, Todd! So, Todd was... He has had... He's been in the process, in my mind, for, for a while. He's actually been through some changes. Like, with, pers with personality... And voice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do what I normally had for him now, cause it, it's just not gonna fit anymore. You can't have two deep voice characters. His name was originally gonna be Chris, and he was supposed to be always wearing a like Batman kind of costume on, and he'd always think he was Batman. And he'd go, he had, go to a therapist every day, and he said, it's like, um, I, if, do you know what it's like, it's alone, in a room, when you're 15? Um, I don't remember, but he was obsessed with Batman, but now, he's this, um, well, I wouldn't call him fun-loving at all, he's not fun. I gotta play Todd's dad at the same time, which I gotta be as mean as I can. At least try to be as mean, like, the meanest version of myself possible. And I gotta yell like this! Because it's like, Todd, I, I don't like you! I got you from a fish store! Well, thanks, Dad! Good thing to know I'm adopted! You really think that you came from me? <laughs> and if I wanna, um... He can compress, and the face. The face is always fun to do. I'm gonna do the face, Dad. <laughs> yeah, he's... And then, for, from now on, he's gonna be wearing this bow tie. No matter what, from the Pretty Women episode onward, this bow tie will be on him. So, um... That's all I have to say. His eyes are super wonky. He's Todd. Okay, if you follow my Instagram, if you, you'll see that every once in a while I'll post a video containing this character. Okay. This is Guppy. I have no idea what he is. And he lives in it. There's a box we have that is supposed to be his birdhouse, even though he looks more like a fish. That's why my name is Guppy! And he likes to ask would-you-rather questions. So, yeah, he's a weird clown ostrich bird fish thing who likes to ask people would-you-rather stuff. Um, and if you want to 
see his questions, go ahead and follow him on Instagram. You won't regret it, possibly, even though the questions are a bit weird at times. Um, there's nothing much more to say about him, except for the fact that he's really, really, um, not, dif he's difficult to manipulate. That's why I only use him for Instagram. This character has only been in two episodes. Um, Fierce, the Fierce Predator episode, and the biggest shout out ever. And in that one, I actually gave him a voice. I don't know why I did that, but whenever you see this character, he's a nature documentary thingy. But he's a two-part puppet. Oh, and I forgot. He's in a Dysfunctional South episode, but he wasn't called the Brazilian cliff jumper. He was called the Uranus Flytrap. For some reason, Uranus Flytrap became Brazilian cliff jumper. And he doesn't speak. So, well, he only spoke once, but I'm not going to ever speak him again. So he just makes weird hissing noises and flares up his mouth. Shh. Yeah, stuff like that. Very, very self-explanatory. Nothing much more to say about this weird thing. You know him, you love him, and he's been sitting next to me this entire time. And I'm surprised I didn't get to him earlier. This is Swiffer! And that's not his voice. It's not his voice at all. I have a hard time with Swiffer, because his voice... It's pretty much a screaming voice, a uh, screaming version of mine. I'm pretty much yelling. And, well, he's the very first puppet we ever made. He has, he was on the very first, very first episode called Quarantine Survival Tips. And he's been on pretty much every other episode of Swiffer Speaks, and he's made some other appearances since. So, can't miss much. He has his signet. He always wears a hat. He's wearing one of the possible prints for our last cream shirts. Yeah. If you want to see, we're, of course, this is just a practice print, and that's why he's wearing it. So, if you want to see more stuff like this, we are going to get better equipment, and hopefully, you actually get some merch. So, if you want to see this in the future, be waiting because we want to give this stuff to you guys. Hopefully, eventually, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, and I don't know why I said that. In the first couple episodes, Swiffer never had a mustache. He never did. If you saw them, he never had this until a couple episodes later. Well, his head, the way to get his shirt off, pop his head off, and then just take it off from there. Yeah, if you see this, just know this has survived through so much. This has survived a lot. Um, I mean, I'm actually surprised it's still holding together all that well. So, yeah, this, this is jaw, like a jaw and head mechanism. Um, he wears an old broken watch that I don't use anymore. So let me just take this. Pop it back on. And boom, we can reveal his beautiful face and his weird stringy hair. I don't even know why a skeleton should have hair. I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> so, he was, we, um, if you see our, if you saw our Connie and Clara ones, we actually had more planned. We had scripts and everything. Oh, well, not scripts. We had basic storylines about Carney and Clara. They were going to be bigger named. They were going to be one of the biggest characters that we did and um he was pretty much the narrator he had white hair and everything it's he's he's definitely changed and our um ideas have definitely changed a lot of the characters that we have for that are now either named something else or aren't in existence anymore except in a little red notebook so and he's always shocked so it's not much of a surprise I'm the soup man. He's only been in two appearances. Well, 
Yes, two appearances. Um, the he's been in three. Mm -hmm. He's been in three already. Wow, I didn't think I used that character. Then. Oh, that's right. He was. Of course, I don't. You like to use this puppet an awful lot. It's some of the parts on it are very um, capable of falling off, and sometimes um, the costume I wear. It, it's. I'm just gonna wear. I'm just gonna have the puppet on. I'm not putting that costume on right now because that'd just be a pain. Okay, so I gotta crank my head down. Wear like three jackets. Or, or no, not three, but wear like two jackets over this. Be, and I can't see anything, so that I, I don't use this pup, this character all that much, because of the fact that it's, it's not the fact that I don't like using him, it's just the fact that he is hard to put on, even though this is just his little head thing, and I could just use that, but if you saw this last stream, Soup Ladle Massacre, that was his, that was his first real appearance in full body, in a full body costume. Um, nothing much to say about this character. Um, he, he's, he was built for a while, and I just decided, okay, let's, let's use him for something. And that, it was freezing that day when we used him, so I'm glad we actually managed to do it before, um, snow kicked in here. Here's the grandpa! Here's Uncle God Dada! <laughs> Poppy John's dojo. Um, he's only been in one appearance, appearance, Karate 101. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and see it. It's really funny. And I'm probably going to say that a lot because I like to reference my own stuff. Um, nothing much more to say about this, except for the fact that he actually is Connie and Clara's grandfather. I've already said too much, so I'm just going to set him down. And his voice says, was been in development for quite some time. We have Chump. Yeah, this is Chump. He's only been in a... He's been in a... He's been in quite a few episodes. Yeah, I haven't seen his partner lately because of the fact that, um... Sometimes it's just funny to see Chump. Even though the other character is funny, Wesley is funny. Um, this one, I think, is more funny, personally. Um... Yeah, he's nothing more than just a shark with gold teeth. Well, a bunch of gold teeth. Um, a bunch of... He has a metal... He doesn't really have a metal plate in his head. He's supposed to. He has stitches all over his body, and he has a heart on either side of this fin right here. Um, <laughs> he's the only puppet I have to hold my hand like this. So, if I put him on... My hand is like this in him right now. So, and if I... <laughs> if I want... Because sometimes, if I want him to, I can just go like this. Because sometimes his metal plate sometimes screws with his body. So he just... He just snaps. He's a weird fish. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, are we wa- uh, is people watching us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's that. Um, he's fun to play. I'm surprised I haven't used them more, actually. Um, Garbanzo. This, the Bean Chuck Garbanzo. So, he is interesting. He is go- he has an interesting past. Okay, so he is, of course, a bean chuck, a rare species of woodchuck that died out, that supposedly died out years, multi decades ago because of their addiction to beans. They didn't drink any water or anything because they're so stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Garbanzo. Um, he has some very, very interesting movements. Um, he's only been in two, a couple episodes. I sh I want to use this character more. The Bean Eaters are gonna, g Bean Eaters getting new episodes. Yeah, and stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, what am I supposed to do, Lima? That's the only line I can say of his. His voice is really hard to figure out. And sometimes, if I just want to talk him, I can just 
move my fingers like this, and, and it makes that motion. I stick my middle finger out to make get him in the sniffing motion. I push my hand like this in order to make him look like he's screaming. Um, and you didn't see this. I know it. the video glitched out on the live stream. But his so-called dance or his prayer worship thing is just me going like this. It's, it's nothing less and nothing more. It's just this. It's it's hard to describe. Nothing, nothing much to say about Garbanzo except for the fact that he looks like a snake right now, more or a weasel more than a woodchuck. Um, Grace the clown. Yeah, he's entertaining. Um, if you have, he's in a lot of epis. He's in well some appearances in Dysfunctional South. Um, he's in some epi he's in, he's in some, um, I just realized that a lot of my characters I don't really use very much. I should look into using these characters more, uh, the more recent ones that I just showed you. So, anyways, back to the puppet itself. He has hands made from a grease, from a greasy glove, m m greasy mitten, um, and he's supposed to come from another world. He's he's a clown, so it's it, it's funny and it's weird. He lives in Texas, and my the person I live with, Janice, should bake me even better potatoes than she does now. Yeah, um, I should deserve better potatoes. I love the Southern voice. It's so fun to do. It's. It's, I'm surprised I, I don't use it more. Um, nothing much else to say about that. I've always wanted to have a clown puppet, because I like clowns. I've always liked clowns. Just the concept of a clown is funny to me, even a scary one. Um, it's a poop. It's, it's Squidgy the poop. Um, his, he's Carney's living poop. N nothing much else to say about that. He's interesting. He's he came. His first appearance was in um, the Carney and Clara rap battle. At he was in the very very end. He came out of Carney's butt like one of those things from Aliens. <laughs> um, and I I like playing this character. He's funny. He's he's so. He's so sweet compared to my other characters. He has a nicer personality than some of my other characters. I play a lot of mean, narcissistic characters for some weird re reason, because I'm not that type of person. <laughs> um, yeah, so, even you're mean. Okay, so, <laughs> enough of that. So... Let's just get... Yeah, I'm making the cameraman laugh. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but, anyway. I like this character. And, there's, it, it hurt. I don't like to play him a lot. Because of the fact that his voice is pretty much like sucking all the air out of my body. Um, because my puppy too has to push all the air out of his lungs. See? <laughs> I'm out of breath already. Um, surprising for a brown thing like this covered in little yellow pom-poms. It's supposed to be corn. I'm saving my two favorite characters for last. Um, okay, so now we have Steve. <sighs> what can I say about Steve? Um, well, he's only, he's been in two episodes. He's been in Wacky, or... Carney and Claire Christmas Special, Wacky Christmas Part 1. Um, and he was also in the junior episode, Kidnapped. Though, and this character is so, is so funny. He has such a funny backstory. I just thought of it on the spot when I got this puppet. Oh, it's not a puppet at all. It's a little dull. <laughs> but, um, he's, Sant he's, his name's Steve, of course. And, apparently, 
in my messed up mind, these type like Santas are grown on farms for some for some reason, and they don't like the ones you see in the store, and they only come out and they entertain, and then they just and that's their purpose. But Steve is a rebel. That's why he has this little black band across his head. Um, he's a rebel. He got away, and he ended up in Carney and Claire's house um, to escape from wherever he was from. And he's very dirty. Um, he has he has brown and black markings, like soot and dirt, all over his body. He has longer hair. Um, he's he's funny. He's funny. Junior, do you go to tell him? For some reason, I can't do the voice right now. But you can get the point. So yeah, nothing much else to say except the fact that I love his backstory. We're getting into the two, the top two. Um, my two, one, two of my favorite characters out of this entire channel that I play personally. Um, and I'm gonna bring out. My second favorite one, even though I should have put Brother Bob in a lot later into this video because I love playing that character. I love playing the bad guy. Of course, we got Carney. He was another one of the very first puppets that we ever made. Um, his face is extremely like this. It's weird. If I grab out Grease... And I grab out Carney. You can see that Carney's face is a bit flatter, a bit more deformed. That's because Carney, with such erratic movements, has lost this the stuffing in his oven mitt body over time. So, and plus, sometimes, um, and that actually gives me the opportunity to make him have even like weirder expressions than he already has, like this. <laughs> I have no idea how this face came to be. It's just me pushing my thumb up in in his head. But it's so funny. It's it's so weird. He looks like a bird this way. And I absolutely and I absolutely love it. He has he for some reason he has a goatee, a red goatee. He has red hair, black eyebrows. He has a big eye, a small eye. Uh depending on which camera um, angle he's at every once in a while you'll either see his big eye or his small eye and that's always funny to see um, he has these little arms even though I don't really even use them they're like really weird muddy mud skipper feet um, and my voice has changed over a period of time his voice has changed his voice was more of a brace face voice uh, yeah, that voice is more like, um, like if your mouth is full of, like, braces, and it's like, it's like a lisp, it's, it's weird, but his voice changed over time, and, um, it became even, he was nice at first, and he became angry, he became nice again, he became angry, <laughs> and he, he was in that little red notebook I was telling you about earlier. He was supposed to be a bigger character, and nothing much else to say about him at the moment right now. So I'll just slide this puppet off and put him over there. Now it's time, ladies and gentlemen who are watching this. You know him, you love him. It's Junior. And killed him. <laughs> He's looking extremely flat faced today. But that's because if you haven't realized already, this was supposed this was on Todd's base body now. The both Trixie and um Junior's heads cut came from this body. So that was that was a good thing. We got three puppets out of one thing. And I Junior never looked uh, looked like this before. Junior didn't look all um, goth, or I don't know what I don't know the style or anything. Um, I don't look at styles a lot. So 
obvious this is my favorite character. That's why I brought him out last. Um, he's he's a he's a absolute great thing to experience. So if the way I put him on, put my, I roll my shirt up. I put the sock on. I put his glove on, which I don't even know. Realize it's funny how he always has a glove on. Him and Trixie, they always have gloves on. Um, so. Okay, so let's just seal you up. Like that. And I'm Junior! Hello! Uh, okay, so. Junior is. He's a character. He was once. He was on my Instagram. And a very. His very first appearance was on my Instagram. Um. We, re we removed the very first video because it wasn't Junior at all. Um, and the second video, um, was funnier. I, I, I like that video a lot, a lot. I watch it a lot. And now he looks like this because Trixie never leaves his house. Oh my God. Oh God, daddy. Trixie's such a fat, fat, chunky whale. That's like, the deluxe, like, and that's in this. My arms are the reason why he looks so long. He look like a lot of my characters are snake like, really weird. <laughs> but it's the fact that it's like he may look like he has really, really long limbs. It's the fact that it's just my arm in my arm together to make my favorite puppet. Of all time. <laughs> There's nothing much more I can say about this character. Except for the fact that he's my absolute favorite. I have an easy time playing this character. so He's one of mine too. Yeah, and you play Uncle Junior. Yep. So, um, if you want to know who that voice is, he's the cameraman. He's the cameraman for, all of our, for, for pretty much all the videos. And... Um, he's, um, been brave enough to be, um, well, Junior calls him, Donnie! Yes, Junior. Trixie called, Uncle Junior! I don't play Trixie. I don't play any of the female characters on this. The, the person who plays those characters will be coming in the video at, after this. We're making a part two to this thing. After this video, um, come sometime after this video comes out. Um, so, that is all the characters I play. And it's a lot. And, gotta say, it's weird having all the voices. You also play Carl doing your gaming, too. I play Carl. Carl is myself, pretty much. It's... It, it's just, I don't know why, um, Coral, the name Coral, um, it, it's funny, I love saying that name aloud, Coral! Like, it, it's really fun, funny to say the name, um, yeah, so if, if you want to call me, if you want to call me something, um, if you have a name for me, it's, um, it's good to just, I go by either Jacob or Coral. If you, on this channel, just, if you, like, run into me, it's like, hey, Coral, or, hey, Jay, or, I don't, I don't care at all. Um, but, now, yeah, if you see any of my animations, I most, I'm gonna mostly, I'm mostly the character, person who plays, like, the characters in the smaller animations, but, in my new animation, that's, that's com that's coming out. Hopefully, I can get the very first episode, the ver the episode that I'm working on, done sooner rather than later. I just realized that animation is a very hard and very um, tedious process, but I'm willing to do it. Um, so I hopefully get that done. And I I play the I play a character in that big animation series, in a big animation series I'm planning. Um, based off a comic that I'm working on. Also, that's on my Instagram if you want to see it. Um, 
It's it's in a it's more of an adult, um, dark humor kind of. It's kind of bloody, a little bit kind of bloody, <laughs> but either way, I'm gonna have such a fun time making that, and I hope you guys have such a awesome time looking at that um, animation when it hopefully comes out. I just I don't want to take a year to do it, <laughs> but it'll it'll come out sooner rather than later, hopefully. So counting voices, two, <laughs> one. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, 13, 13, voice, uh, 13 and, pl 13 plus, 13 plus voices, okay, and I'm, I'm happy, wait, yeah, I forgot, 13, 14, 15, 15 voices, I'm happy to play them all, even though sometimes, <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little joke here. Sometimes it gets a little bit crowded in my mind. Oh well, it's it's my life. Um, it's my it's my YouTube life. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, befriend us on Discord, join our server if you have any questions. Um, I know yesterday that the live stream was a bit buggy. And um, I'm sorry for that, but technical difficulties, we couldn't really fix that. And so, um, if there are live streams in the future, they will be possibly better. I'm saying possibly because I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my showcase of absolutely all the characters I play. Um... If you want to see more, if you have any suggestions, um, please say so in the comments below. Um, that is all I have to say. Now I'm going to go and get my um, butt whooped in Five Nights at Freddy's. And I know it's a dead series, but you cannot judge me on that. So, bye bye